Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ray Guitar channel, and today, guys, we have some allegations to talk about. Yay! Everyone's fucking favorite. Well, today's allegations are a little bit interesting because they're against a certain content creator by the name of Russell Brand. Everyone knows him. He used to be super, super popular in the mainstream media. He was a comedian, and now he kind of switched up and does, like, anti-mainstream like populist kind of like news coverage and shit which I don't always agree with his takes on stuff but it's most definitely refreshing to see like these kinds of alternative opinions be prosperous on the internet and such but a couple of days ago Mr. Russell Brand decided to come out with this video alluding to the Matrix attacking him ladies and gentlemen he's on his Andrew Tate wave <laughs> The United States Railroad strikes again, ladies and gentlemen. I do not need the free train sound effects. Thank you, Norfolk Southern. I'm sorry for all of the autistic viewers out there who very much enjoy their little trains going by, taking pictures of them, blah blah, woof woof. They are the bane of my fucking existence, and I will never, ever respect a single train that is on the tracks in today's society, ladies and gentlemen. I understand they make the world go round, but I do not give a fuck. They suck absolute dick, and they ruin my audio quality. Fuck you, trains! Fuck you! So, in Russell Brand's statement that he released a couple of days ago, he kind of addressed the allegations. He said that there's some serious allegations that are going to be made about me. He doesn't actually, like, talk about any of the allegations. He doesn't show any evidence that disproves them. Basically just indirectly saying, yeah, these news agencies are coming after me. It's a coordinated effort to take my voice down. You know, just kind of drumming up support from his fan base. So here's the little two-minute clip that he decided to put out. Hello there, you Awakening Wonders. Now, this isn't the usual type of video we make on this channel where we critique, attack, and undermine the news in all its corruption, because in this story, I am the news. I've received two extremely disturbing letters, or a letter and an email, one from a mainstream media TV company, one from a newspaper, listing a litany of extremely egregious and aggressive attacks, as well as some pretty stupid stuff, like uh, my community festival should be stopped, that I shouldn't be able to attack mainstream media narratives on this channel. But amidst this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks, are some very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. These allegations pertain to the time when I was working in the mainstream, when I was in the newspapers all the time, when I was in the movies, and as I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. I was always transparent about that then, almost too transparent, and I'm being transparent about it now as well. And to see that transparency metastasized into something criminal that I absolutely deny makes me question is there another agenda at play? Particularly when we've seen coordinated media attacks before, like with Joe Rogan, when he dared to take a medicine that the mainstream media didn't approve of, and we saw a spate of headlines from media outlets across the world using the same language. I'm aware that you guys have been saying in the comments for a while, watch out, Russell, they're coming for you, you're getting too close to the truth, Russell Brand did not kill himself. I know that a year ago there was a spate of articles, Russell Brand's a conspiracy theorist, Russell Brand's right wing. I'm aware of news media making phone calls, sending letters to people I know, for ages and ages. It's been clear to me, or at least it feels to me, like there's a serious and concerted agenda to control these kind of spaces and these kind of voices. And I mean my voice along with your voice. I don't mind them using my books and my stand-up to talk about my promiscuous consensual conduct in the past. What I seriously refute are these very, very serious criminal allegations. Also, it's worth mentioning that there are witnesses whose evidence directly contradicts the narratives that these two mainstream media outlets are trying to construct, apparently in what seems to me to be a coordinated attack. Now, I don't want to get into this any further because of the serious nature of the allegations, but I feel like I'm being attacked and plainly they are working very closely together. We are obviously going to look into this matter because it's very, very serious. In the meantime, I want you to stay close, stay awake, but more important than any of that, if you can, please 
Stay free. And then a couple of days after he made his statement, the Sunday Times, the Times, and Channel 4 put out their article and their investigation into all of this, where they interviewed like five alleged victims, one of them allegedly being 16 while he was somewhere in his 20s. So yay, a little bit of uh, pedo allegations to throw into the mix. That's always fun. And apparently after multiple outreaches to his representatives and just pretty much being shut down every single time, he decided to get ahead of the allegations and put out his little statement video. And along with this whole article, they actually decided to put out a screenshot, a screenshot which a lot of people are saying is completely doctored and is clearly faked, which the only sketchy part about this is that it's a really long paragraph, so they had to stitch two screenshots together to make it easily readable for the reader and everything, so that's why it looks kind of off and kind of weird. But the thing is, is that if these news organizations put out provably false screenshots of this text conversation that Russell Brand would obviously be able to prove wrong if he has the legitimate conversation where it's clearly showed that it's doctored or whatever, then those news organizations are on the fucking chopping block for millions of dollars in lawsuits. So in my opinion, that kind of adds a little bit of credence to this whole situation because yeah, they're under the threat of, like, liable, so obviously these organizations are going to dot their I's and, and cross their T's and everything. But the screenshots start off with Russell Brand saying, I'm sorry, that was crazy and selfish. I hope you can forgive me. I know that you're a lovely person. Kisses! Then she responded saying, you scared the shit out of me. You're right, I am a lovely person. And for you to take advantage of me like that is unacceptable. You have a problem. You need help. Help. It's dangerous that you think you can get your own way all the time. Do you know how scary you are when the glazed look comes over you? When a girl says no, it means no. Do I have to go and get myself tested? Last time you asked me condom or no condom. When I say condom, that doesn't mean it optional. You don't have the best reputation. I pride myself on being safe and trying to make the right decisions. Obviously, this was a bad one. I'm so disappointed. I'm very sorry. You don't need to get tested. I will make this up to you somehow with love and kindness. Not my original idea, which was more sex. You've been lovely to me and I'm embarrassed by my behavior. Sorry. Kisses. Will you ever forgive me? Kisses. And again, all of this is alleged. Like, wow, obviously three text messages um, don't paint an entire picture of, an, of a situation. It gives a little bit light into it. At least there was clearly an altercation that happened and uh, she was upset about it and there was clear communication that, hey, what you did wasn't okay. And the thing that all of like Russell Brand's audience is completely forgetting about, conveniently for some reason, is that this guy was like known for being a weird degenerate creep. I'm pretty sure he was in an Adam Sandler movie where that was his whole character. His entire shtick was, I'm hot and I'm going to fuck all these bitches. So yeah, like that, that was his personality, that was his shtick. It wasn't just on camera, it was off camera. And for instance, uh, one of the accusations made by Channel 4 said that Russell Brand would commonly ask staff to approach like audience members that he found attractive so he could like meet them after filming and shit. And they're also saying that some sources told them that Brand displayed concerning behavior on several occasions during his time at the BBC, including one incident described as an alarming display of aggression and disrespect. The Sunday Times said sources had said Brand's attitude towards women became what the paper termed an open secret in radio and TV production. So there have been rumors for years of this guy being a weirdo, being a creep. And then one of the people that they interviewed also said while she worked at Channel 4, there were some concerns about Brand actually hosting a show there. And she was quoted saying the solution that was offered was that we would take the female staff off the crew. Women that have worked hard to get into this industry now can't work on particular shows because of fear that they might be assaulted or harassed. 
I was in disbelief, she told the paper. So yeah, I mean, just looking at the fucking guy, he looks like a little rat man. I personally have never thought his whole switch up, his whole, I'm going against the mainstream media, I never really saw it as too genuine, and especially after all of this shit, and from his already pretty bad reputation in uh, entertainment and everything, I'm gonna lean more towards, yeah, I mean, this stuff is probably true, especially with the fucking screenshots and shit, but at the end of the day, it's still all alleged, so who really fucking knows? I guess we will see in court, or however all of this ends up unfolding, and if there's any big news dropping, any like big updates to the story, I will most definitely cover it, ladies and gentlemen, but other than that, there's really not too much else to talk about. Just like, comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Comment your fucking ass off to help this video spread through the YouTube algorithm and help the channel out so we can reach a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, which we are 100% on track to do. I'm hoping for a thousand subs before the end of September. Let's try and get it, guys. Sorry for the fucking train sounds in the background. Gay retard out.